Ethereum sixteen hundred dollars. And again, the recent performance has been. Uh, recent performance has been very good. Uh, Ethereum, you know, broke above multi months downtrend. Uh, something that we have not seen in a very, very long time. Uh, if you look at this downtrend right here, guys, that goes all the way back, all the way back to uh, $48,000. Uh, Ethereum recently broke above the trend, uh, but it looks like, you know, we are pulling back. Uh, shouldn't be a surprise if you look at your daily RSI it has been you know up in the 70s actually 87 so the daily RSI was all the way up at 87 you know the last time we had a daily RSI all the way up in the 80s you have to go all the way back to the peak of the bull market and that is why it's extremely important you know to take profits uh, if you got into a position earlier and you haven't taken any profits, uh, you know, if we, if we do roll over and we start to pull back, uh, you know, this is, you know, this, that could be one of those positions where, you know, you, you up 50, maybe 70 or 80%, but in a matter of days, you know, that same position is down, you know, five or 10%. So you have to take, uh, you have to take profits, especially in a bear market. If you have short term positions, you have to realize those profits. So looking at Ethereum right now, guys, uh, let me give you guys potential price targets. Uh, this is a range right here. This range is going to be extremely important for, you know, basically the overall well being of Ethereum. Uh, if the price is to you know remain somewhat bullish in their short term, uh, and even in the long term, we need to stay above this range right here. So if we do get a pullback, you know I want the price of Ethereum to stay above twelve hundred dollars. So from twelve hundred dollars all the way up to thirteen hundred dollars, uh, that's that's what I want to see. If we can stay above, you know, this range, then what we have, you know, for the first time is a higher high and, you know, a higher low. And the next move, of course, will be very important because not only do we want to go up, but we want, we want to take out these levels right here. Uh, if we can put in, you know, new highs, uh, that will be extremely bullish, you know, moving forward. And in fact, you know, that will give us a strong confirmation uh, that $800, you know, back right here was the bottom of the bear market uh, for Ethereum. Uh, but if we do come back and take out this range right here, so if we do drop and take out this range, then, you know, we have to start speculating, eight, you know, $800 as a potential target like we did in 2022. Uh, so if we do drop, you know, back to this range and drop below this range right here, uh, we need to start talking about, you know, $800 as a potential price target. And the reason we need, you know, the reason we will start to talk about $800 as a potential price target is actually very simple. Because if you look at the chart of Ethereum, you know, after $1,200, our next potential support is $1,000. But if we can take out $1,000, I mean, really, our next target is right down in this range right here between $868 and $997. So, this range right here, guys. So, you can see how massively important. It is for Ethereum to stay above, you know, this twelve hundred dollars and thirteen hundred dollar range. Uh, massively important. If we zoom out and we look at a weekly time frame, if you look at the weekly time frame right here, this is a weekly right here, guys. If we can drop 
and stay above again this range right here then you know for the first time since you know the beginning of this bear market we have higher highs higher lows and again this next move will be extremely important because not only do we want to go up but we want to take out these highs right here uh, what we don't want to see is something like this what we don't want to see is something like this guys where the price you know goes from eight hundred dollars all the way up to what was that two thousand dollars you know back put in you know new higher lows but then you know this next move right here uh, instead of you know pushing all the way up and taking out two thousand dollars we actually put in lower highs so this is not what we want to see uh, we want to see higher highs and higher lows we don't want to see lower highs and lower lows that's not what we want to see if we use you know a different indicator uh something like the bollinger bands uh let's take a look at that and i want to you know look at the lower time frame uh, if we go to the four hour time frame uh in fact we are you know not only consolidating but we are actually you know retesting this orange line right here so if the price you know stays above this orange line uh you're more likely to see another move you know up to retest this upper blue band uh but my concern is that you can see the blue band is starting to curving right to, uh to the downside uh so normally in a healthy environment uh what you get is a price you know bouncing off this orange line for support and we push all the way up you know towards uh you know the blue line uh this is where you want to be taking profits and this is where you want to uh you know be a buyer uh but right now you know if we are uh going to continue you know this uptrend uh we need to bounce off this orange line right here and continue to go up otherwise if we drop below this orange line uh, that is going to be another confirmation that we are you know heading lower and in fact you know if you look at the daily time frame you know orange line is somewhere around fourteen hundred dollars somewhere around here guys uh fourteen hundred dollars is a 2017 all-time high uh so that is a major level and you know if you look at where fourteen hundred dollar is is exactly where you know we got some support back in august of 2021 uh, so you know these are massive targets that i'm watching right now you know fourteen hundred dollars uh thirteen hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars one thousand dollars and you know eight hundred dollars so you know in the short term let's see where the price is going to take us uh let's see if we are going to continue to come back down uh wouldn't surprise me though you know very similar to bitcoin you can see some divergency right here when you look at ethereum boom you can see them right here guys you got some divergency right here uh even if you look at the four hour macd you got some divergency right here uh price is going up uh the macd is doing the opposite uh in the in the rsi as well so you know i am watching i am watching and of course again we talked about the coming pullback you know uh seven days ago this is a video from seven days ago if you haven't already checked it out i would highly recommend you know that you watch this video right here where i talked about the upcoming pullback uh reason why you know the market has been you know oversold for the last you know couple of days uh people that got in earlier are, are definitely taking profits right now so if you are going long right now, you're more likely the exit liquidity.